This is a video to explain the novice range of PID temperature controllers, uh, the controllers that we hold in stock in the UK, production automation, we're an authorised distributor. Um, we have a good stock of controllers and various price ranges. So we're just going to start off from left to right. We have the N1030, which is entry level PID. 1030T, which is the same as the 1030, but adds the timer function. We have the 1020, which is the micro, the smaller one. Uh, we have the N1050 here and the N1200. So we're just going to talk about each controller and maybe some common uses for them. So the N1030, if we start off with that one, it's very compact, as you can see, simple to wire. I can tell you from experience, it will take you longer to cut the hole than it will do to set it up. Um, they're very straightforward and at £50 really for a branded controller, um, you can't do any better, certainly not in the UK. Um, so the 1030T is going to behave exactly the same way, but it does add the timer, which opens up uh, a few different applications where you might want to heat or cool for a certain time period and then switch off. Um, again, it's very, very simple, but it does add that timer. So we sell a lot of those for things like powder coating ovens, where you maybe want to go up to, that's well, probably about 180 degrees for an hour or two, and then just switch off um, baking, anything like that, really, commercial ovens. Um, so yeah, those two, very straightforward, don't require USB, program them from the buttons, and you're done in minutes, really and they'll give you a good long service life. The N1020, um, as you can see, physically much smaller. One of the big benefits of this is it does have more of a universal input, so it will take a big range of thermocouples, PT100 sensor, um, and it does start to add in the USB, so you can plug this into your computer, laptop, program it with QuickTune, which is a free download, or you can still program it from the touch buttons. Again, it's uh, as simple or as complex a, as you want to make it. You can add, can add in the timer function, alarms, things like that, um, but it's a very reliable controller. So if we move on to the N1050, this is a really popular model because it does add a slightly nicer display. It's an LCD display. Um, again, you can see USB there and the terminal block. I'm gonna point the terminal block out because it's actually the same. So if you wanted to upgrade an N1030 to an N1050, you would literally just slide that terminal block off. As you can see, it removes and slide your other one straight back on. So it's simple. But the big benefit of this controller is it adds in your multi-stage or ramp and soak control, which for a lot of things like metals, composite materials, it's really important that you can go up to a couple of hundred degrees, sit there for an hour, then go up another hundred degrees and so on. Um, it's got really long segment times. It's very, very popular and it's a great controller for under a hundred pounds. So finally, we're going to move on to the N1200. This is the top of the range one, auto adaptive PID. Um, it's got everything you would want and more. It has a range of different models. Um, I'm just going to point a couple of them out. There's the uh, DIO, which is digital input, digital output. So you can start and stop your control um, with a PLC or the control device. They have things like RS-485, so you can get data back. Um, there's another model, heating and cooling, which we've used a lot in breweries um, for fermentation control. What the heating and cooling does is it actually controls in both directions. So although all of these controllers can be set up for heating or cooling, um, this one will actually do both in the heating and cooling variant. Um, so that makes it uh, a very, very specialised controller, but we do have applications out there for it. So I hope you found this beneficial. Any questions, please do get in touch with Production Automation. Uh, you can find us via Google or on the link at YouTube. Thank you.